Hi, welcome back uh, to those who are coming. <laughs> welcome back to those who are already subscribed at the subscribes. <laughs> Hi and welcome to today's video. It's been a while. It's been a while, but I am back. I'm sitting down talking and yeah, just about uh, maturing in Christ. And I think the last time I posted was when, yeah, it's somewhere in the last year at the beginning. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me a chance. Yeah, I guess. Uh, as I stated before, my videos are just uh, about my lifestyle, about Christ, the things that I do. I love farming. I love um, handy stuff, like anything that I can get on to do with my hands. I love that also. And also a bit of the intellectual stuff. But yeah, that's just my whole channel what my channel is all about but today i'm going to be talking about christ-centered life obviously and it's just about um the thing that i been wanting to share and it's about um watching out for deception and i posted a video because but it was from a while a while back so it wasn't really a video that I sat down and talked about. So today I wanted to talk about something that I had talked about before in my one of my videos but that video I had shot it before I think I'm gonna link it up here um, it was about deception and in that video I didn't really go into it but even today I'm not going to really go deep but I'm going to give more info about uh, like more meat on the story yeah so it's about deception and as we know that we're living in the last days if you don't feel like you're living in the last days then I think you you just have to go in there into the Bible and really read about what Jesus said that in the last days that we're going to have deception and of course since that time that Jesus uh, went into heaven deception has been there like all this while we've been seeing deception all sorts of doctrines all sorts of uh things that have made people to fall away from faith and even in our generation it's happening at a faster rate mm -hmm. at this time we're seeing people um getting into new age all sorts of weird religions that were not there before because but yeah, there are all sorts of fads, uh, trends that uh, even celebrities are advocating for, but are not really uh, pushing people or directing people to God, but more of like forming their own God. And God wants us about that, that we uh, can have our own form of godliness. You can make God in an, another image. And I used to think that, okay, making God into another image i would mean like uh fashioning making an idol a physical thing but it's not just about the physical mm -hmm. it's also having this mindset or or idea of god and and wanting god to conform to that it's trying to make god to be something that he's not and yeah he, as humans we tend to do that just because of our flesh but that's why we need to read the bible that's why we always constantly have to be humble and ask the holy spirit to guide us to tell us hey i want to know about god what do i do um who is god show me your ways basically that's that's how moses was you see in the story of moses going up to the mountain to get the commandments when while the israelites were down at the base of the mountain they got tired and they were like mm, we want another god this guy i don't know what happened to him and they told aaron basically give us 
a god that we can see and we worship and Aaron did that you see Moses um, strove to want to know this God and he had faced God uh, he had known God didn't really see him face to face but he had known God and he knew how, how God was who God was he had a relationship with him but you see the children of Israel it's like they didn't understand him they now made an idol saying this is the God that brought us out of Egypt that's crazy and that's how um, Christians for can fall away or yeah yeah people can a society can fall away we say this is God and we make these images of him but it's not him that's not who he is that's not his character that's not how he, he operates things and sometimes we see that also in in, in church that um, uh, there's this new, another kind of Jesus that is not even in the Bible the Jesus that tolerates everyone yes <laughs> when you try and say oh God is not about the like some lifestyles God is not about sin you will be like uh, the people who are going to come like hey God is about love and God doesn't judge people mm, God loves everyone as in this type of God this kind of God that they're talking about is a God who is okay with seed he doesn't have any standard eh? but you see the Bible if you read your Bible which has not been work eh, like any other thing the Bible as it is we see God hated sin and people were punished because of sin we also see him as a good and just God that he gives opportunity for you to repent so God is not just um, this strict master and also is not just this person uh this uh, this father who just is okay with everything that you do even a dad would not be okay a mom would not be okay with her children um doing certain things she has limit limits and boundaries to her children and that's uh, a, a mom or a parent uh who is who we can see and say that she's she loves her kids so that's the same way god is and if we do not read the bible we do not humble ourselves we're going to say god is this certain type of a being that oh we just have another image that is totally not him and thus we'll be falling away we'll be worshiping an image and that's basically sin yeah so in this in this instance where uh we're seeing a lot of falling away we need to really pray and humble ourselves we need to study the word of god it takes a lot of discipline speaking for myself I I just have to tell myself to do it because I know if I don't do it somebody is going to come in or something is going to come into my life at some point and it's going to rattle me or to shake my faith and if I don't have a foundation in the Word of God in having a relationship with God in him guiding me through everything then at that moment I'll probably fall apart i'll probably lose faith in god i'll probably go back to where i had come from you just want to go back to 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 egypt as in egypt was a bad place imagine and then these people want to go back it's because they didn't really know god's ways they didn't really know him you know they did not know how he operates they probably expected okay we're coming out of egypt everything's going to be smooth uh, we're not going to really work hmm? but it's in salvation it's a lot of work uh, just because jesus has done the big part of you getting saved not having to do a certain thing to earn salvation it doesn't mean that everything is now settled we're on this earth and we have to fight we have to fight mentality we have to fight some ideologies we have to fight many battles but jesus has given us the strength to fight those battles so that we can stand so that we can uh get into that promise that he he has um he had given to abraham and that is the promise of life that is the promise of blessings that is the promise of good health so yeah life is not as easy as people want it to seem like so and it's so many so many ideas so many teachings it's crazy out there and when i talk like 
who experiment but don't go in there with an open mind i'm not saying you shut down everything but go there being careful if you want to know let god guide you ask god to guide you if you feel like okay una explore but you see all these other things all these other teachings they don't center on what god says is as truth because there's only one truth there are people who say that many truths or you live your truth yeah you can live your truth but there's one truth and jesus is a truth the bible says that jesus is the way the truth and the life we also read that the truth the holy spirit is the spirit of truth and also another truth is the word of god the word of god is true so if jesus is not there or the holy spirit does not back that up or the word of god it's not in the word of god then you are in problems so don't drift away from the word of god anything that comes that's just what i've learned anything that comes new teachings new nini if it's not centering you on god on christ that then you are you're having a problem so because jesus has to be glorified in everything let's just be careful there's so much material at this age you need to up internet um youtube all sorts of conferences and everything um yeah there's so much lawlessness there's so much lies and manipulation and don't think you are perfect you cannot be lied to you are infallible there is no person who's infallible there is no person who's infallible even you can lie to yourself you can be so convinced of something kumbe uh there's something wrong kumbe you've missed out on something even our eyes lie to us so now you have the story of um optical illusion there's auditory illusions so we can't trust in our senses okay we can only trust in god so the most important thing is to trust in god through the situation uh pursue god that's the most important thing because and now people are pursuing um yes good life soft life <laughs> pursuing education want to get married want to have kids want to have money those are good things but that should not be the center of your pursuit or purpose your purpose is beyond that and you can only find that in Christ and in humility in wanting God to teach you it's not easy but there are rewards of being patient and trusting in God throughout the whole process Yeah so thank you so much for listening thank you so much for yeah listening to me supporting me I'm believing God that I'll be consistent even in pushing out videos and giving more uh, encouraging messages uh, things that just uplift the spirit and glorify God Yeah there are so many things so many projects that I have I don't really know how to share them but when they come and God guides me I'll just be posting up be blessed remember to like share comment subscribe <laughs> all those things I usually don't know how to follow them up yeah you just know what to do thank you so much and God bless you